IIT gate 2024 question number 1 so this arrow denotes increasing order of intensity than the meaning of the word simmer seed smolder okay so when i take a look at these three words uh, this is increasing in intensity of heat or agitation agitation ka increasing in centered you know intensity hai simmer seed and smolder and i need to talk about the corresponding sequence for breakage break raise and third wala aapko ye चार ऑप्शन के बीच में लेना है ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑब्फस्केट दैट्स बेसिकली टू कंफ्यूज और ऑब्सक्योर इन मीनिंग ओके इट्स एब्सोल्युटली अनरिलेटेड टू ब्रेकेज और टू डिस्ट्रक्शन ओके जो हम लोग का है ब्रेक रेज एंड द थर्ड वन दैट इज टू डू विथ डिस्ट्रक्शन सो ये तो डेफिनेटली नहीं होगा obliterate is to completely destroy this is a probable answer fracture is to break but uh, fracture is uh, typically partial it's not complete breakage fissure is a narrow crack or opening okay so break is a smaller action of uh, damage raise implies completely leveling something it's absolutely raised that's more intense than break and if i want to go into more intensity it would be total annihilation total annihilation is the same as obliterate okay so here the answer will be b that's obliterate okay that's question number 1 iit gate 2024 question number 2 in a locality the houses are numbered in the following way the house numbered on one side our consecutive odd integer starting from 301 so 301 303 305 307 so on and so forth on the other side of the road our consecutive even numbers starting with 302 this will be 304 306 308 okay the dif if the differences of the sum of the house numbers between the two sides of the road so what is the difference in the first row difference is 1 difference is 1 difference is 1 difference is 1 so the difference is 1 for each row if the difference of the sum of the house numbers between the two sides is 27 so the sum till the fourth one is 4 till the fifth one it will be plus 1 so if the difference is 27 then that means that on each side of the row there are 27 houses and the difference between each of them is 1 1 1 1 1 if i add them the difference sum will be 27 so the number of houses on each side of the road is 27 total number of houses will be 54 So each side will be twenty-seven. Answer is A. IIT Gate two thousand twenty-four. Question number three. For positive integers p and q with p by q not equals to one, this equality holds. Then we have to choose the correct option. So p by q whole power p by q is equal to p power p by q divided by p power one. because we are using the rule that a power m minus n is a power m divided by a power n now we can write it as p power p by q divided by q power p by q equals to p power p by q equal divided by p so we are using the rule that a upon b power m is equal to a power m divided by b power m so this and this will get cancelled out so we will have p equals to q power p by q so we raise both the sides to q and we will get this and now these two will cancel so we will have p power q equals to q power p option number a is the correct answer iit gate 2024 question number 4 Which one of the given options is a possible value of x in the following sequence? So there must be a pattern. So when we go from three to seven, there is a difference of four. Then when we go from seven to fifteen, there is a difference of eight. Okay. So when we go from sixty-three to one hundred and twenty-seven, there is a difference of sixty-four. And then when we go from one twenty-seven to two fifty-five, there is a difference of one hundred and twenty-eight. So it is four eight. Then there are gaps. Then sixty four one twenty eight. So let's try. Suppose there is a gap of sixteen, and then there is a gap of thirty two. So the sequence is completed. Four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four one twenty eight. Every time we are multiplying the difference by two. So now 
from 15 to x if we have a difference of 16 so x must be equal to 15 plus 16 which is 31 and then from x to 63 there should be a difference of 32 so 31 plus 32 should be 63 which is correct so the value for x should be 31 option number d is correct IIT gate 2024 question number five on a given day how many times will the second hand and the minute hand of a clock cross each other between 1205 and 1255 so if i try to draw a clock what will happen is something like this this is 12 this is 1205 okay, okay. now the second hand cross uh crosses the minute hand every minute once so the second hand will start from this and then it will continue cross this hand then it will be 1206 then cross the hand once more then it will be 1207 so on and so forth so every minute the minute hand and the second hand are crossing each other so in every 60 minutes the minute hand and the second hand is crossed 60 times here the time is between 1205 to 1255 so that gives me 50 minutes in 50 minutes the minute and the second hand will cross 50 times that's what my answer is here so 5 is c